Welcome back to Riding Bikes in San Diego. We're just getting a few of these ding-dongs looking for parking in Balboa Park here. I wanted to take you on a stretch of Laurel from the west side of the park down to the 5 Freeway, um, but I figured I'd start it back here because it is just so beautiful going through the Plaza de Panama in Balboa Park. Um, and then we meet up with the road that um, in my opinion, shouldn't even be here. That whole plaza we went through, um, the last part right before we merged with the uh, road here, that used to all be parking, and it is so wonderful now that there isn't parking there and that it's open space for people to use. Um, we're riding here, and in my opinion, um, this should be closed off to car access also. All these folks just sitting in traffic over the Cabrillo Bridge, and we are going to enjoy riding over the Cabrillo Bridge. You all know that, I mean, I like to, to bust on drivers quite a bit, but I really do appreciate the driver who is behind me, who is keeping a really healthy distance back. I don't know if they're doing that because of me or, or what, but they are really hanging back on this. And also, I'm kind of flying. Like, I'm probably going a good 20 miles an hour on this. And um, But it feels good. I really wish that there were no cars here. I wish that there was more safety for all the people walking and for folks driving. Um, but what I really wanted to show you is when we get out of the park here, there's some new paint on the road. It's mostly Sharrows for a couple blocks, which we expect. That's been here a long time. Um, it goes right between these protected bike lanes on 4th and 5th, which are absolutely incredible, and I really appreciate Sandag for doing that. Um, and we're in the Sharrows, but what happens on Laurel here is that it gets steeper. So we're on a slight downhill right now, which is totally cool, but it does get a bit worse. And you see on the other side of the road, there's a buffered bike lane, which is great because people on bikes can't really move that fast. So they put the buffered bike lane on that side. I really appreciate that they did that. I didn't expect that on this side of the road that I'm riding on that a bike lane would pick up. Um, so after I wait for this light, because I know some folks are going to be like, you went through yellow lights and red lights back there. I did, but... It's, uh, it was safe. So sometimes the safer thing to do on a bike is not what the manual for drivers says. Um, we're going along and right after this intersection, a, um, a bike lane starts up after the next intersection. I'm fine with the Sharrows over here, but as it gets steeper, I do want more in terms of safety you know because even though people on bikes are going to speed up people in cars also speed up this bike lane starts up and i'm like oh good now if there's a driver who wants to go really fast i have my own space we had it for a couple of blocks and it's so nice i'm thinking this is so much safer i've gone down this hill so many times and uh it's scary especially here right here is scary and this is where the bike lane ends. And I see that I'm coming up on a red light and I'm really riding on the brake and still going super fast. Um, I don't want to come to a dead stop because there's a lot of momentum. I want to get through this intersection and especially when cars are just going to keep going faster. But I get on over. I can't help but notice that we're in Caltrans land now. We're going under the 5 freeway. and. Um, we know this, that infrastructure breaks down when you get to crossings that are controlled by Caltrans. I wish it wasn't this way. I wish I had a buffered bike lane um, the whole way on that road. After this intersection coming up, which we're not going to go through, a bike lane does pick up again and that goes around to the airport. I'm going to stop off to see a buddy of mine over here on Kettner, so I just decided to uh, shimmy over to the sidewalk and I'm going to do that. When I'm done running this errand, I'm going to keep on going and um, I hope that we can all just drive less and ride a bike. Have a good one out there. Thanks.